click on start and select Microsoft Store, click on search and type Recuva, enter from the results, select Recuva, its developer is Piriform Software Limited, which is the same developer of the famous C Cleaner software, so you can trust it, click on install, once the installation is completed, it would create a shortcut icon on your desktop, double click on it to open it, click on next, you could select the type of file you would like to recover, or simply keep it as default to all files, then click on next, here the default option to select the file location is a bit strange, which would scan your whole computer to find deleted files, but instead you could select in a specific location, click on browse, now you can select any folder from your computer and then click on ok, this would then just scan that folder, click on next, here there is a checkbox that would enable deep scan, but first you could just scan without a deep scan, so click on start to start the scan, and very quickly it would find the files that were deleted, you can expand the panel and then expand the state column which would give you an indication of your chances to recover these files, for example unrecoverable, poor or excellent. You could select individual files by clicking on the checkbox of individual files and then click on recover, select the location, click on ok, and now if you would open the recovered photo, you could see it has recovered successfully, even though it was stated as unrecoverable, so when it says unrecoverable, that doesn't necessarily mean it won't be recovered, so it's better to select all of your files by clicking on the checkbox next to the file name in here to select all the files and then click on recover, select the folder to save the recovered files and you should not select the same drive from which you are trying to recover the deleted files. In this example, I would select my desktop, create a new folder, name it anything you want or leave it as it is and then click on ok. This would then start recovering files and once it's finished, it would tell you the total recovered files and then it gives a subcategory of fully recovered which is 0 and partially recovered which is all the files that are recovered and now if you go to the recovered folder and try to open the files, you could see that many of the videos are not playing and one reason is because these videos were recorded using iPhone with a variable frame rate, but most of my photos are recovered, so Rukuma is good for recovering photos and not so good for recovering videos taken by iPhone. I also ran the same scan again and enabled deep scan which took longer to scan but I got the same results. I also went directly to the Recova's website to download and install the latest version of Recova but still got the same results. Because I had some backup copy of the deleted videos, I know that Recova has recovered the videos in its full size but it's missing some metadata so Windows can't play it. So I suggest you to watch my other videos on how to fixed the corrupted video files that were not recovered properly, or watch my other video on how to recover deleted files using another method.